So what's going on guys it's Talha here so you guys know that it is very difficult to do this kind of modeling in Revit so we usually convert a SketchUp or a 3ds max model into Revit and we use them in our projects so I have already made a video on how to convert a sketch model and today I am going to show you how to convert a 3ds max model so let's get started so here I am in 3ds max and for this tutorial I am going to be converting this bed model so you can see it's a very high quality or a very high poly model and Revit will not allow us to import this kind of models this kind of high quality models so we first we need to reduce the polygons to do that you need to select any of these objects so I will just select this one and just go here and and here you have this modifier list so just you need to select pro optimizer from this list so here we have this so I will just select this now you need to click on calculate here and it will calculate all the polygons so First we better enable the edges, so just click here and here we have these edge faces, now we can see it clearly. Now you need to reduce the percentage here, so I will just reduce it to 20%. Now you need to repeat this with the other objects as well, so just I will just select this cushion and go to modify list and select Pro optimizer here now click calculate and I will just change it to 50 you need to reduce the percentage as per your requirement because all the objects don't have the same number of polygons so you need to reduce as per the requirement so as you can see this it's 50 is enough for this and I will select this one it's a very high poly so I will change it to first I will just go to Pro Optimizer Calculate and I will change it to 20 because it has many polygons. ok once you are finished with this you need to export the model so just go to file export export we will just name it bed and for the save as type you need to change it to dwg format and just click save and if you have an older version of autocad so just change it to earlier versions and just click ok now we need to open this model in autocad you need to go to open files and just open the file which we have just exported from 3ds max and I got this error because it was exported from a student version here first I change it to shaded ok as you can see it's a single object so we first need to ungroup you can just go and click here or you can just give it a command ungroup so i will just type ungroup and enter and all the objects are now separate so we can easily put them into different layers and it will allow us to change the materials when we use them in Revit so now let's create some layers so we'll just type layer command and just unlock this and now just click here to create a new layer I will name it below one you can name it as you wish 
and you create the layers as per the object requirement so I will just create some more ok I have created all the layers now we need to put these objects into them so I will just select this base and this part into base so first we better turn off all the all the layers so we can know which object we have already shifted ok now just turn on all the layers back now what you need to do is to select all these objects you can just select them by doing like this or you can just press ctrl plus a and now you need to change the object color by layer you must need to do this so just select the by layer and now we finish with the AutoCAD now just save the file I have already opened the Revit and here you need to go to new in the families and I will just open a generic model family Okay, so we here we have this generic model. So just open it up, and now you need to go to insert and just click import CAD. And here we have this bed file. So just select and I will just make it center to center and open. We can now create some materials. So just go to manage materials and delete all this just select first one and hold delete key on your keyboard ok now just go here and create new material and just rename it as you wish I will just rename it below ok so I have created the layers so just go ok now and go to object styles in the manage just go to object styles and go to imported objects and here you just need to select the materials which we have just created so just click here at the corner of this and select the material so this one is base so I will just select base ok and for the blanket I will do the same with all the other layers as well ok now we need to create some material parameters so we can easily change them from edit type or type properties so just go to create and here you have this family types and now we can create some parameters so just click here to create a new one and I will just name it as I did before and for discipline just keep it common and type of parameter we need to and you can keep it instance if you want so I will just keep it type and ok now I will create some other required material parameters so I will just name it below 2 
human material structure instance okay so i have created all the material parameters and now we need to select the materials from here in the value as well so just click at the corner and select base as this one also base so i will just select base here and for blanket i will select blanket now just go ok and we can now use this in our project so i will first save it just click save and i will name it bed family ok now let's load this in our project so just i will just create a new project Now just go insert, load family and just go to that folder and here you have this bed family just open, now just go to architecture, select component and we have our family, you can place it anywhere you like. I will just turn off the edges, so just go here and graphic display options oops we need to change it to realistic or shaded first then go to visual style graphic display options and turn off this show edges okay now you can just select this family and go to edit type and here you have all the material parameters you can easily change them from here so i will just show you some And I think that's it for this tutorial so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and see you guys in the next video